Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be going over everything you need to know before buying a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Ray-Ban has been around all the way since 1937, and since then they've actually only been owned by two different owners, one BL Ray-Ban who owned them from 1937 all the way to 1999, when Luxottica purchased them for around $600 million. And now one of the biggest reasons why people hate Ray-Ban is the fact that they are owned by Luxottica, who owns tons of other huge sunglass companies like Persil, Oakley, and many, many more. And because Luxottica owns many of these big companies, many believe them to be a monopoly, and then using that monopoly to jack up prices dramatically. So let's take a look and see if that's actually true. We know that in the early 80s, a pair of real Ray-Bans would cost you around $50 to $60. And in today's money, that's going to run you around $130 to $150, adjusting for inflation. And as most of you probably know, you can pick up a brand new pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses for around the same price. If you get a pair of polarized sunglasses, it's probably gonna run you more towards $200. But really, adjusting for inflation, there isn't going to be a huge price difference between what they cost you in the 80s and and what they cost you now in 2019. But that being said, I'm sure of today's modern manufacturing and the newer process that they have, I'm sure that Luxottica can make each pair of Ray-Bans for probably half the price that BL could. So in today's money, if it costs BL Ray-Ban around $70 to produce each pair, it probably only costs Luxottica around $35 to produce the exact same pair. And that's going to really allow for huge profits on the end of Luxottica, and the consumer really isn't going to notice a huge difference there. And if you want to save even more money, I recommend picking these up on Amazon. Usually you can save around $20 or $30, so I will have a link in the description down below where you guys can pick up your pair of Ray-Bans for around $20 off. So today Ray-Ban really isn't a different company than they were 20 or 30 years ago. The sunglass prices are actually basically the same as they were back in the 80s, and the quality has basically stayed the same. The biggest difference is going to be that some of the Ray-Ban sunglasses are now going to be made in China and they never were made in China back 20 or 30 years ago and those Chinese sunglass frames are definitely not quite up to the same quality as the ones that are now made in Italy. I'm sure you guys could tell right from the beginning of the video that I still do like Ray-Ban. I probably have 50 or 70 pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses and I definitely am a fan of the brand and even still the company. But I am really disappointed that Ray-Ban is making more and more of their sunglasses in China just to save even more money and I think that's absolutely ridiculous and I would definitely not recommend spending $150 on a pair that's made there. So next time you pick up a pair, make sure it says made in Italy in the inner right temple of sunglasses. That way you know you picked up one of the best quality Ray-Ban sunglasses. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more on different sunglass companies, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below what companies you want me to review. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in your next one.